The accidents in Chernobyl and Fukushima have proven that it's not possible to control nuclear installations and their radioactive releases under all circumstances. Even in the most modern nuclear power plants, severe accidents with significant and far-reaching adverse impacts cannot be excluded, not now and not in the foreseeable future. The use of nuclear power burdens future generations irresponsibly with radioactive waste. In addition, nuclear installations can only marginally be protected against natural disasters. Since Fukushima, European nuclear power plants have aged by another 10 years. Despite that, many countries pursue lifetime extensions of their nuclear power plants. Any lifetime extension is always connected with an increased risk of significant negative impacts. I'm seriously concerned about this. In Austria, we have a clear and strong policy against the use of nuclear power. It's an old and dangerous technology. Our future lies in the use of wind, sun, water and biomass. In the ongoing discussions on climate action, nuclear has more and more been cited as a possible low carbon option. I strongly disagree. Nuclear power is too slow and too expensive to tackle the climate crisis. It's a high risk technology and it generates radioactive waste, which will be a burden for generations to come. That's why I will not accept nuclear power to be referred to as a measure of EU climate action. Right now, there is a heated debate in the EU on whether nuclear energy can be labeled sustainable. The nuclear lobby strongly advocates for nuclear to be included in our green finance classification rules. This would lack any scientific justification and risk the credibility of our green finance system. We can protect the climate and complete the energy transition with renewables and energy efficiency. Therefore, we need to put our efforts in the expansion of solar, wind, water and biomass power. That's our future.